This is a full call between Ernesto and Sonia, the woman in Florida, and is not a part of the normal series. Just to note, I did use a small portion of this call in part three. In this full call, you will hear Sonia explain her feelings to Ernesto as they discuss their relationship. Sonia goes on to talk about a business that she supposedly owns. Take a listen. Huh? Hello? You in the bed? No. Huh? What? Happened? You in, you in the bed? Yeah, I'm on the couch about to go drop some food off to my son. I, um, Global. What's it called? Global Tech? Globe Tech? Global. I, um, I cooked dinner. I made some fettuccine alfredo. And, um, I was going to take it over to him with some donuts. I went to this donut shop that is just absolutely wonderful. And, uh, and, um, I was going to take it over to him and make phone services. So, um, hold on, I'm just trying to see. I got to put some money on your, on your phone. Um, activate my, I already have an account. Well, Dan, um, how was your Saturday? My Saturday, I slept, but they locked it down. They locked it down. Really? Yeah, like they lock it down and let the others. Uh, Why? Yeah, they got one top. They let the top up, then let the bottom down, then let the bottom up down, then put the top up. So, uh, like we lock down at nine, it. then the other people come out to eleven. Oh, but, so the seminar, y'all. Yeah, but I'm, I'm hoping uh, there's a good chance I'll be going to the honor dome. So that would make my fucking life be so much better. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, no lockdown, and I uh, would get watch wide, big wide screen TV and news, and I can drink what? coffee. What is that, the camp? I said, what is that at? <laughs> yeah, sound like a channel. I'm trying to tell you, this shit, so, this shit looks like some federal shit, man. I ain't lying to you. Right. Right. I'm like, what the fuck? Is that a camp? And, and they get to let you get the iPad, and they get to watch all the movies you want on the iPad. <clears throat> oh, my God. How do you get transferred? So you need to know. Then they know. I didn't know. I mean, they house, like I said, they house the inmates here from from mm -hmm. up crowd, but they put the overhead down there with the uh, the, the good shit. So mm -hmm. I, I I can't wait, and I just you and uh, I guess I was cool. The other guys that came over with me, they asked the officer could I come down there with them. So it's like mm -hmm. all the overheads they put down there. So my life would be so much better. I can pop that pad over, use a two hour day. And uh, I'll be back on regular schedule. I can look at your pictures and your emails. Yeah. That, oh. That, man, that made my time go by so fast. Right. Yeah, sitting on this. Now table. you're just looking at a wall. Hell yeah. Uh, yeah. It was. Yeah. So, but anyway, um, it's it gonna be all right. It get greater later, you know. I got faith. Yeah, I listen to you. It get greater later. <laughs> yeah, it get greater later. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, so player, player. Go ahead on with that shit. Go ahead. God, go ahead. Yes, so you already know. You know, I was thinking about your ass today, and I was just like, oh, I'm just, oh, I did not want to be here, but I'm here, and it's all your fault because I told well, I you. Tell, tell me what that means. Tell me what that means. I don't know what that oh means. Oh, my God. Yes. Oh, my God. Do you understand? I have never been so fucking... All right, well, let me explain something to you about yeah, me. Yeah, do that. I got time. I <laughs> feel like a mice. I be so good with keeping my shit locked and just, like, one point where I don't have to deal emotionally with nobody, right? Where if you, in my life, in my life, if you, out, I'm interesting, global. Um, I'm not faded, you know what I'm saying? I ain't never whined or cried or missed or none of that shit. Bye, see you later, you know? Um, but damn, I'm all mostly fucked up here. Who is that about? Oh, why is that though? I mean, I'm trying to figure why, what you're saying. Just say what you're gonna say. What I'm saying is, I don't... Because you could be around the bush. No, I'm not. That's my email. <laughs> I can't to confirm your email. Did I confirm? Man, it's a big, I'm trying to put some money on your account. Um, this is some shit. I'm firing my account. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I, I'm just, I'm, I'm stressing this, the situation on two levels. What, I'm stressing the fact. Come on. 
I'm checking the fact that you're locked up already. I don't want anything bad to happen to you. Um, and then, so when you're going through it, I'm going through it because, you know, I'm going through it. So, and then on top of that, what the fuck? Oh, my God. Let me just open up this other new because they get getting on my fucking nerves with this shit. Um, oh, gosh. You have to confirm. We send the email in. Um, yeah, and then, um, I think because how this situation came about that we were friends and, um, you know, I just didn't really have, because it was, like, I was able to stop myself because I would just avoid you and I would just feel myself falling and getting all emotionally caught up. I would just, like, avoid you and be like, oh, I'm good now, I'm good, you know, um, as long as I don't really see him, you know, because he's talking every day, so as long as I don't see him, I'm good, I can keep the distance emotional distance from him, you know what I'm saying, because he got that situation. So it was like, you know, don't, like, get off. Remember that conference we had on the bus? And I was like, we cannot, because this shit is just, you know, not free agent. So now, am I, am I excuse me, clear, or is it all? You get what I'm saying, right? Did you hear what I'm saying, right? Uh, no, because you keep talking in riddles, like you say I talk. So I'm trying to get talk. this bit said. Oh, okay, so bluntly said, um, I'm open. <laughs> I don't like that shit. I don't like that. It's, 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 it's really so I'm trying scary. to say, what, what shit you talking about you don't want? If you keep talking in riddles, just say what you got to say. I mean, it's not, I'm saying it. I just thought I said it. Okay, what what shit you don't want? That's what I'm, I'm terrified. I'm terrified. I've never been here before. I've always, since I was 17, 18 years old, have been able to not be here. And I'm here. And it's, it's very nervous. Very nervous. I don't. It's uncomfortable because I've never, ever, ever, like, always had my guard up in every relationship I've ever dealt with anybody. You've been and I'm saying to you, I've been in a relationship, but I've always had my guard up. I've never, ever, whenever I had to break up with somebody or they broke up with me, I was just never say it. I was just next, one to the next situation, it was just nothing to me, okay. you know? Okay, what's, what's the problem here? So, man, I feel like, I mean, like how I, I, when I was fucking 17, I didn't know no better, and I, I slipped up and, you know, openly like somebody and um it's just you had a baby scary. no no I, I had my guard up with that motherfucker he broke up before i even had the baby that's what's done with his ass <laughs> and i date people they always say i don't have any feelings and i'm cold right because i'm able to just like bounce and not cry about it not think about it not mourn it just be like bye don't call me. I won't call you. We're good. I'm not mad. He cheated. Whatever he did, you know what I'm saying? We're good, you know? Right, right, right. Because I knew me, and I thought, I always thought, to have somebody's um, um, feelings is a lot of responsibility. Okay. You know, if you have the power, if you have the power. To, I need you to come on with this. I need you to come on. <laughs> come on. Come on now. If you have the power to emotionally affect me, I'm not comfortable with that because I've, I've but never, I ever, ever. But I ain't got no power over you. So we oh. Can't. Ernest. Uh, Ernest. Yeah, <laughs> but I'm saying I ain't got no power over you. I ain't got no power. I just keep surreal. That's it. Listen. What do you Listen. Think? It's, 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 yeah, you have, you have the ability to affect me emotionally is what I'm saying. I don't know how. I just, I just keep. If we stop talk. talking, to, listen. If we stop talking tomorrow, I will be very hurt. I will be very pressed. I will be like, I don't want to eat. I don't want to go to work. That type of shit. That's no. not me. I don't do that. Okay. Well, guess what? That ain't gonna happen. Because guess what? Uh, I'm gonna be in your life for a long time. Get ready for that shit. So certain shit. <laughs> No, no, you need to just want to say that because you beat around the bitch. I'm gonna come on with mine. See, I'm, I'm not beating my voice. I'm, I'm saying it. 
like it's terrifying. Well, it ain't terrifying. It's okay. It's okay to, to have somebody. Uh, I ain't gonna let you down. You can bleed that shit. I'm gonna keep it one thousand mm-hmm. with you. I know how to. Uh, but if you can do that, I, I will be at ease. Okay. The thing of it is. If you're ever, if you're always honest and respectful, I can deal with you. Yeah, I'm going Because when I don't know that. or I get surprised on some shit where right, it's going to be a problem. No, all you got to do is ask me. I'm going to tell you. I don't give a damn how rough it is because it ain't that my ain't, motherfuckers ain't dead. Their legs ain't getting cut off. You ain't blind. That's bad. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's just, just a, yeah, some basic life shit, that ain't nothing. It's going to be yes or no. Fuck it. Cause that's right. The yeah, we passed that, uh, that, that, uh, trying to scheme a scam and trying to figure out if you're going to keep these folks on your side, if you tell them the truth or not. I passed that shit. If you're with it, you ain't. That's, that's basically it. That's the only way you're going to be cut and dry. So you ain't got to right. worry about that shit. So the answer that you asked, you asked me, uh, two weeks ago, well, you know, I can't be doing all the green. Where's your family at? What you got? No, so you No, I don't, I don't, no, 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 I didn't say that, I, I, I didn't say I can't be, I said, why am I, why aren't they helping me, why are they leaving me for dead, that's what I was saying, not they, saying, uh, they, no, I don't they, want the pressure, I don't mind the pressure, I'm just saying, no, you gotta hope with other people. Yeah, but I, they're not leaving me for dead, I'm a loner, and I guess you didn't listen. You didn't listen to what I was saying. You're a loner, but you still, like, I don't fuck with my yes, people man, got, every I got, day. I got, I got five dedicated people. That is it. I don't I'm a, I don't really do business with everybody because they lie, they steal, they cheat, they for themselves. You know, even family member, I, I don't do all that. They laugh in your mm-hmm. face, gig in your face. I can't, that part I can't handle, and I get really, really crazy when I get like that because loyalty is everything, and these people don't have loyalty at all no more. This ain't mm-hmm. the same. They ain't cut like like when you grow up. There, there's nothing like that no more. Everything is mm-hmm. fairy tale. And I can't do fairy tale too long. And I and I'm like right. I, I can see past it in five minutes. That's my problem. <laughs> Straight up. Right. Um, yeah. I, like I said, I got kids, they we cool and everything, but when it time I, I get down, we don't we don't uh, I don't even put that together. I tried that a long time ago. 10, 15 years ago, that's that's not the MO. So I don't even try to throw shit on people who can't handle that. Or they won't, uh, you know, I'm going to give you an example. There's so many people love to have a mother like you. There's so many people out here, but you might not even see what I'm talking about. Cool, young, beautiful, up in age. You see what I'm saying? They would love mm-hmm. that shit. Let's say the mama broke down in a wheelchair or fat as a motherfucker eating pork chop and shit. You see what I'm saying? That's still their mama. But they were, there's some mm-hmm. fine mamas out here when I was locked up. Wish I had that fine mama come and see me. You that fine mama. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm talking mm-hmm. about. You know what I'm mm-hmm. talking about. Yeah. Like your son can't see that right now. Because he, he ain't into that. Ain't no pressure. Hit him like that. You, you know what I'm saying? But he's here. Because he's always tell me, can you, when we, I used to go to school, can you put some clothes on? I'd be like, please shut up. I mean, yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> My friends keep talking. I'm like, your friends will be all right. <laughs> Yeah, 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 that's all that is. And I, I do understand that. Yeah, they they love honey little dude, but I got that. But I've been getting that with my kids all my life, so I don't even know. Yeah, for this time, yeah. Uh-huh, okay, what? What'd you say? <laughs> you funny. Because you're fine as hell. Go ahead, what? Well, I ain't looking like that right now. I'm looking like a uh, dust-ass man right now. Dust- this is your dusty old man. Yeah, yeah, but... uh. It's, just, it's beneath all of that. Yeah, it is. It's like that. It's not like you wear lace fronts and a whole full face of makeup, so hair, cutting your hair will make, will snap you right back, so you'll be all right. Yeah. And I always see you looking like T-shirt and, and whatever type of bottom, so. Okay. Well, you, I always see you fancy in pictures, but I, in person I always see you dressed down like you're about to go wash your car. Okay. Look at that well, one time we went to go eat. A very like the third day I met you, you had some clothes on. You was dressed a little nice, and it was raining outside. We went to that little taco spot in Alpharetta. Yeah, you were sitting there looking cozy and shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so I got so hit. How, how, it. So, so how you feeling? Health wise? Yeah. Oh, I'm good. I had um, I thought about the business today, um, and. 
I'm a little excited because, you know, I, I know what it can do. And because um, Marlo, the person that worked at the city, um, she called me yesterday because she wanted some help buying a car. So she wanted me to go with her to go help buy a car. And so we went today looking at cars. And then we were talking about, you know, the city and all of that stuff. And she was like, it's going to take you about three years to pay that money back, right? And I was looking at her like, nope. She was like, really? I was like, no. <laughs> you six months to pay that money back. She was like, I was like, you, you don't understand the numbers that the businesses right now that are a quarter of the size of my business make right now. I said, that little hole in the wall strip club makes almost $200,000 a month. I said, do you understand the money that this business is going to make? And I'm five times the size of that strip club. And they don't even have dancers. I talked to the house mom two days ago. She was like, we barely have dancers because they charge so much. For them to dance. What? Yeah, they're charging one hundred and sixty dollars for them to work. I'm like, a and that whole a night, a night. Yeah, to come in the shift, they charging one hundred and sixty dollars for them to dance at that hole in the wall, and it's not even like a magic city. You know what I'm saying? Where it's just like guaranteed money. Damn. Well, well, I will say this right here. I do understand mm. how you feel. I do. I, I, do, I, I have been there before. When you into somebody, you into somebody. You really, really, it's a certain person you into. I, I, mm -hmm. I, I, I felt that before. I do understand that part. And then the, the disappointing that if they don't, if they don't give you that same um, feeling back, it's a, it's a, it's a mm -hmm. irritating feeling. <laughs> yeah. So don't worry about that feeling because that feeling was there for you and got started. Open up your box. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. You know, you got so much game. Well, no, anyway. it's true. It, no, no, you can tell that my ball was just a little strong, and that's all. That That's it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, mm -hmm. it's, not, it's not every day. You don't find that mm -hmm. every day. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, you did make that comment, and, and it, it's wearing off on me now. It takes me like three days. You know, you said I ain't going to, I'm not going to settle. No, I'm not going to settle. But uh, I do. To me, I live a normal life. But you say I don't. But yeah, you have to keep. Mind. You don't. How do you think but, that's but, normal? But, but, but wait, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, now listen to me. Now listen to me. I did 13 years fed and stayed. When you right. nobody to come see you, you out there uh, cutting hair in the baseball field or with a razor comb. You never got no Christmas package, one or two. You had the big other people, family, senior shit. Uh, that, that, that. Who wants to go back to that? Right. You know what I'm saying? So I never took time to even had the opportunity to talk to you like that because there wasn't no reason to. So mm -hmm. it's like you. People don't know your struggle. They might like, damn, she pretty as a motherfucker. Yeah, she pretty, but... Uh, you got a little past that shit. Then she got some motherfucking wit and some brain power to stick with you or to move mm -hmm. some shit uh, and keep your shit in line. So what I'm going to say is that I tried you uh, when I first met you. I said, you can get you by 10000 But I saw God had told me to put my faith in what I see. And what I see, I roll with. I saw you, mm -hmm. you always talk about business and how you know how to move your shit around. I was going to let that shit go with you and move on to something else. That's how I am. Because I had mm -hmm. already did that, done that before, and that was boring to me, but I had the opportunity to lock the space down. So when you say I had a lot going on, yeah, I did have a lot going on. That's just my M.O. Because you're busy. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, when you're busy, you can't get fucked up. But you just be lacking around, ain't doing shit, you can get fucked up. So mm -hmm. I'm fucked up. That just it. <laughs> right. You got what I'm saying? No, you have the ability to always bounce back. That's the thing. That's the key. I'm a what now? If you have the ability, you will always bounce back. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, I mean, be honest with you, uh, it's a blessing to have you, and, and, and I, I bound on that. I'm good on that. And that's why I stress on that. Hey, man, don't think what I'm saying to you because I'm fucking locked up now because it's... I'm the same person when I was out there with you, but I don't have to really stress that much of you because you're grown enough to understand that. So that's that's the beautiful thing about our relationship that I like. I like that real shit. You, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, I remember you made that statement. You say uh, the guys down there, they were to date you, they like you. They say you gotta put some more weight on. Well, listen, they didn't know what the fuck they had. That's that's the bottom line. When they get old, they didn't want to get them young girls just fuck them around. But you look just like what they're looking at and looking for, for more. It's just they couldn't have that brain. You got it now. That's what it is, right? That's what I had told uh, Calvin. I told you the twins, Calvin and Alvin. Calvin used to be sitting and I used to tell her. I said, he could never date a woman his age because his whole mentality is fucked up. And young girls, because they're mostly stupid out here, and they could deal with that because they don't know no better. Yeah. I said, so that's his thing. So she, you know, he's 60, and she, what, is 60? She was like 32 at the time. Right. And they dated 30, 32, some shit around there. And I was looking at him like, why are you with that old ass man? She's like, ah. I'm like, oh, God, he's old. <laughs> Oh, he was like, like he's old, man. He's older than me. Yeah. And then they had nurse call me ma. I'm like, you don't know, ever fix your lips to say ma to me. He's like, well, I said, now. Uh, yes. I'm like, boy, I still get carded. Don't play. <laughs> Damn. Okay. Come on, ma. No, no, dude. You just call me Sonia. You're going to call me ma. I am uh, not your ma. You got me by seven, eight years. Don't play. So That's about, what, 62? Hold on, hold on. You're the old day in the 60-year-old. Uh-huh. I used to date young, and she used to always date old. So I think it's a daddy issue. She told me she thinks of her, her daddy issues because, you know, her dad was never in her life. So she always dated old, like my age and older. Um, Damn. And then I was always, I, I used to only date young because that's what I attracted because people thought like you thought I was younger than what I was. So older guys would never talk to me. It would always be young dudes, like I was roller skating the other day, and this dude pushed up on me. And I was like, how old are you? He was like 30. I'm like, what, what the hell? Boy, you don't go on to your mother. And he was like, what? I was like, you don't, you don't understand how old I am. Yeah, but I'm, I'm, yeah, no, he don't. But I'm older than you. No, nah, he don't. Because he, he was like, well, you both. I was like, yeah, I'll roller skate. And I got move like I'm young. Right? But, you know, and he was talking to me, you know, but I was just like, yeah, you no, know, dude. I got you by like. I'm about 23 years. I'm yeah. 23 years. Yeah, I'm like, I got, I, 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 no, I can't do nothing with you. You too late. You too late. Them older women, they like them young boys. They like, they love them young boys. Love them to death. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, you know what? No, because only, my only thing is whenever I dated young, I had to raise them. That was yeah, it. Yeah, to raise them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had yeah. to raise them. Because they became, became a, a bit of a mess. Like, they was lost, didn't have no direction. And they were open to it, you know what I'm saying? I've got some great students who are success right. stories. <laughs> but um, at the same time, I was just like, oh, I don't want to do this no more, you know? I don't, I don't want to keep dating and raising people. Like, that's just not fun at all. I'm, I'm older than your ass, too, though. I'm older than you, too. Oh, boy. You are older than me. You're the first person I've dated older than me. No, I'm just not old, though. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, old No, you're not. You're not. Because we're only three years apart, so you're not yeah. that much older. We're we right there. We won't forget shit. Alzheimer's, all of that shit, you know. Yeah. I don't know what's going on with my back. I'm trying to figure that out. It's just, it's just, it's just, uh, did you drink water? Are you exercising? Or are you going to say, fuck it? Well, okay, so I went, um, I was on my scooter today, um, so I had to go to the job, and my car was charged, and so I rode my scooter today to the job. Okay. I'm going to start. I'm going to the beach tomorrow to start back roller skating, and I'm going to tonight, after I come back from dropping the scooter off to my son, I'm going to start stretching in front of the TV like I was doing when I first moved here because I feel myself being a little tight, and I don't want to be all tight, you know. No, because you know what it is now. <laughs> what? <laughs> Hey, hey, don't got no net, don't got that spyware, so I keep it on your head. I get some shit got to shake around. I got a shower, I got a shower here that works wonders. <laughs> yeah, all right now. now all right, I, now. I, I don't have to move my legs or stretch or do anything like that. I can just stand there and I'm good. Yeah. So, well, guess what? You might get just stand there, but guess what? You know, don't shit get this trembling from you. You can't stand, right? <laughs> oh my God, I was breaking over. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Mm. I have you broke over. But hey, it's, it's a wonderful okay. thing. Well, get yourself together. <laughs> get yourself together, sister. Come on now. 
<laughs> oh, you know what? This is I, this last month. This is the best I have felt since before I got sick. I feel like my old self again. So that was my biggest thing. I felt sick in the face. I could just not. I was not feeling like my. And I used to be like, oh my god. Had I never dated that guy, had I never gotten shot, I would never be here, you know? And so, you just be thinking this shit, right? I should have... Well, well um, you know, and, that, and that's, that's cool, but get what you said. Look, but you're still beautiful, though. So, you got to understand now, you know, it's a lot of folks that ain't never been shot, ain't never with nothing. But they died at 35 with cancer, leg cancer, arm cancer, breast cancer. You ain't got no problems. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm 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 almost a hundred percent. I say I'm ninety five percent. You have one minute remaining. Okay, I love <laughs> I, I love you. Make sure make sure I say that before we get the phone cut off. But we we touch a lot of points today. I like that. Mm-hmm. Okay, anyway. Yeah, but <laughs> go ahead on with that. Go ahead on. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. Uh-huh. I love you too. Yeah. I miss yeah, you well, a lot. Yeah, I miss you. I look at the pictures all the time. Yeah, that that keep me going. That keep me going. That keep me going. I'm gonna I'm gonna get back on track so they move me and uh staff so I can get on with some grown folks shit. And I'll be okay then. I ain't got to stress as much. But I'm not really strict, I do believe in God, but uh still I'm ready to move on 'cause sixty ran around the corner. I don't wanna be sitting up here looking crazy at sixty. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh but so tomorrow know, morning when you call me, tomorrow morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm a uh, yeah, tomorrow Sunday, so I'm just going to call and just relax and talk to you, uh, do me and your time, and I'll deal with that shit uh, Monday, Monday morning or whatever. But right now, Monday. Yeah, I right checked now. the sign. Yeah. Thank you for using Global Telling. Again, I'm working on Part 13 now, but I'll continue to drop full calls in the meantime as requested. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss the next one.